right now on Eyewitness News. They think by, you know, just writing a check, it's over. It's not over. Never over. Tonight, a victim in the ongoing crisis in the Catholic Church is speaking out about being abused by a priest. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan has been following these stories for more than two decades now. He's joining us outside St. Patrick's Cathedral in Norwich with this one tonight. Kevin? Well, Denise, you know, with the uh, diocese posting on Sunday the list of 43 accused clergy, it has opened some old wounds for some victims and new wounds for others. They knew it happened, but what they did was they got rid of the problem. Andrew Aspinwall is one of the alleged victims of sexual abuse by a Roman Catholic priest in the Diocese of Norwich. He tells me he was abused more than 40 years ago, but the wound will never heal. He also says the list doesn't reveal the whole story. It doesn't say how many, how many they've abused, how many they've um, raped. We're not talking just sexual abuse. We're talking sexual rape here. On Sunday, the Diocese of Norwich finally released the names of 43 known clergy who've been accused of sexually abusing minors since the diocese began in 1953. The Reardon Law Firm in New London settled nine of the abuse cases with the diocese for $8.1 It's at least a moment where they're beginning to feel like there's some transparency and a step in the right direction in terms of getting the information out into the public and making sure that this type of thing doesn't ever happen again. The Norwich Diocese, meanwhile, says 4.8 million of the settlement was paid by insurance, 1 million from the general fund, and 1.7 million in payments was made by others, such as religious orders and other dioceses. In a letter Sunday to parishioners, Bishop Michael Cody writes, It is my hope and prayer that this effort to let the light shine on this dark chapter in the life of the church will bring some measure of peace, healing, and acknowledgement to those who have been directly harmed and to all members of our faith community. Andrew, I talked to attorney Kelly Reardon as well as Bob Reardon, and there are many, many more cases. We can do better, and we have to do better. And they have to stand up and take responsibility for what they did. Now, many of the accused priests have died. Others have been removed from the ministry of the Norwich Diocese. In the meantime, there are still 22 new potential cases that could go to trial. With the Mobile Newsroom in Norwich, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.